Cause I hung all his underwear out on the clothesline. How else am I supposed to dry him out? Can't believe it. Hey, it's cleared up. Can I get a resupply in River Road? I'll head your way now. You want something? You let me know. Show me what you got. Our business is done. You know how to find me. And the day started out so good. Sorry about that. It's good odds we keep losing money and merchandise like this. Boy, I don't have the balls for this. That's him. Let's go. Oh, damn. Oh, My dogs are gonna love violating your corpse.
a shot. Pop out a hand here. good again for you, Roy. Join my crew. Great. That sounds great. Whatever you say. See? Things are already looking up. <laughs> Need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. Nice work. Never should have fucked with me. I'll send some of my crew. You take the Doc Union back, and then fuck Greco will be done. Dark in the hills, where crystal clear water bubbles up from clean mountain springs. Stolts as fresh as a Well, today, I'm sure the file on Vito Skelet is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's... Uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here, and the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. Music. Look at these low-priced 